In this video, we're going to be learning how to create a sorting machine in uh, Minecraft, either Bedrock Edition or in Education Edition, just using uh, vanilla Minecraft items and blocks. So it can be expanded, but this is just one section. So if you wanted to expand, you'd simply copy this and place uh, each slice next to each other and you would end up with a machine that could sort multiple items. This particular item you can sort out uh, diamonds from other items. So the idea is is that you put all of your input items into this chest at the top and everything that you have not selected for sorting out ends up in this chest here and the item that you are filtering for ends up in the bottom chest down here. These other chests are just for overflow, so you've got up to six chests in this configuration. But of course, if you needed more space, you could continue that pattern downward and have as many chests as you need, basically limited by world height limit. So the items that you need to build this are chest, or as many chests as you need, hopper, stone bricks well you could use any uh, block but I've chosen stone bricks just uh, for aesthetic purposes make it look nice redstone redstone torch redstone comparator redstone repeater you need an anvil and uh, some sort of item I've just used cobblestone slab because it's cheap so if you're in survival mode uh, it's something that you're not going to miss too much uh, these are to create a unique filler item which is going to be required and signs and item frames just for labelling so you can see what belongs where. So, uh, across to items to be sorted, I'll demonstrate the use of this now. So I'll pull these items out. Obviously, my item sorter is going to be uh, trying to separate out the diamonds and put everything else into this output box, outer well, output chest. At this point in time, I might have a bit of a look inside this particular hopper, because this is important. You can see that there is one diamond and a total of 44 filler items. So this hopper can take 45 items in total. One of those is my filter item, so diamond, the one I'm selecting and all of these other spaces need to be filled and I've filled them up with my filler items. So there's a total of 44 there and the 45th item is a diamond. That is actually really important. So other uh, videos that you might see have a similar setup to this, but they fill it up with your uh, items. So you might have 44 um, diamonds or 41 diamonds and then another four of something, your filler block. Uh, that's fairly wasteful, particularly if it's gold bars or diamonds or emeralds or something. This is a much, uh, much more efficient use of your resource, particularly if you're trying to build this in survival. So I recommend you doing it this way. Fill it up with a cheap filler item and only one of your expensive ones as a filter. So I'll put all of these items in. And you can see that they're disappearing. Output items are there. Nothing coming through at the moment. So diamonds disappeared down. They've gone to the bottom chest. And you can see that these are all filling up as you would expect. So onto the dirt blocks now. That's, it. That's working. I'll move down to the bottom chest. And you can see the four diamonds that I had. They are in the bottom chest. So that is one section of a sorting machine and you can extend this as much as you need to. It's time to create our filler item. So you could use any item at all. I'm choosing the cobblestone slab because it is cheap and that is important if you are doing this in survival mode. So you will need an anvil and you will need at least one experience level to enchant this. So we're not actually putting an enchantment on, but we're using uh, one enchantment level uh, to rename it essentially. So when you rename it, you're creating a unique item. 
that's the whole purpose of this. It's not for anything else. It's just so that there's no way that this could be confused with anything else that you put in the chest. So I'm going to call this filler. It's just a filler item. You could call it whatever you wish, so long as it's not named the same as some other Minecraft block. So we're going to grab that out. One enchantment level, and that's it. And that is how you make your filler block. Now it's time to gather our required items. So grab all of these. I don't need the anvil, it's already out there. And I'll take uh, my labeling sign and uh, item. And, uh, moving across here, we're going to start our build uh, with the chests. Okay, so starting build. So press sneak to get the chest on top. Sneak again to get that other way. So it opens the chest. So press sneak first. And my chests in order. I start putting some hoppers in. You've got to face it onto the chest, pressing sneak. Again, facing the chest, press sneak. Face the chest, press sneak. We've done that. So now we're going to put some blocks in. So all of these in the right spots. And what's over there. And now we've got to put in our heater. And then some torch. And Redstone. Now, Arida. And once we've done that, we're going to come down here, just the very edge of the comparator. See how it's lit up there? It's like you can see the outline of the comparator. You're going to like press sneak it onto there, and you can see that it's connected to. The comparator, so it's is actually going to be checking the uh, that the items in that hopper. So I'm going to place just another block temporarily there, make it a bit easier for me to put some chests over the top. Break that block, and now this is going to be connected to that chest, so you can see that it exits there. Now put some uh, signs on, so. And down the bottom, we're going to get that item frame. Sneak again to place it on. And it's going to be diamonds, isn't it? So. that I'm in there okay so do this um, hopper put our diamond on and you can see that this up there so it's saying oh there is something inside this and it outputs a current and when that uh, signal um, is large enough it will be able to reach all the way down to that, uh, that repeater, which will then turn that redstone torch off, which will then allow this hopper to start accepting items and it'll feed them down through those chests. So that's the idea. Uh, it needs um, to uh, have 45, well, 46 items for it to reach. So the idea is to fill it up with 45 items. So we're going to do that with our filler. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, four. Uh, and add onto 31, which is now 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. If we went above that, that diamond would just fall straight out. And uh, we don't want that. So that is complete section build.
So if we wanted to expand this in survival mode, clearly we'd have to reproduce this entire structure and have all the items and place them beside uh, this one and then the next one over on this uh, column and then this column for the next one and so forth. But in creative mode, uh, it's a little bit easier. We're going to use the clone function. So I've got my coordinates up there. You can see at the top left of the screen. So uh, I've gone ahead and sort of uh, found where the coordinates are for uh, copy this. So I went from this one here because it's got the sign involved. So I uh, find that uh, location, the maximum height that you need to go to, and then the block that's down here. So you find that that is uh, sort of the coordinates. So you write those coordinates down and it just so happens that I've done that previously. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move to this location here and I'm going to issue the clone command. So clone. Now I'll put the coordinates in uh, of the uh, cuboid that I'm about to copy. So minus 66 in my case, uh, 4 minus 14, 2 minus 66, uh, 9 and minus 6. So that is basically telling the command or the function where that structure I want cloned, where, where it actually is located, and then I want it relative to me right here. I don't have to put anything else in. Your coordinates are going to be different to mine. I press enter and you can see that it has cloned it. The only things that you need to do here, uh, we've got to break those two. You only have one of those in total. So uh, I'm going to see my hotbar there. I've got a uh, five uh, sort of items that I'm going to uh, have sorted as well. So I'll have six in total. So I've got two there. I need another four. So I'm going to just send command. Same command. Ooh. No. Start that up. I'm going to break all of those because I'm in the wrong spot. Very careful. Go to the exact right space and go I've built it there and this one. See that's been built and that top one doesn't matter. Get that. One, two, three, four, five, and our original six. What I'm going to do is I'll so there. So this is going to be a new input. Okay, break that one. So all of the items will go in here and they will exit uh, out there except for my items which come down here. But at the moment, it's all going to be diamonds. So I've got to do something about that. So I'll right, keep those for now. So. We'll, uh, put emerald in there. Oh, iron, lapis, and redstone. So I'll keep that order. All we've got to do now is go into this hopper and I'm going to replace there. You can do that. Okay. 
Next one. Yeah, okay. So, a bunch of other items here as well. Lots of these as well, diamonds. Okay, so, we've got no items so far. There's the diamonds there from the previous, I'll take those. those out so we copy those make sure got them all okay so none of those have any items in there now I'm going to dump all of the items into this chest okay so should be starting to get sorted so that's uh Working, so there must be some items filled up down the bottom. So, final check. And all those items have been sorted. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, like and subscribe. And uh, see you next video.